Well, six hostages came home, but it was the bodies, and there's the horrible stories around that. And now we're at 335 days at war, and the insane state that we're in, where especially like in the north, where we're in a sort of a war, but still not a war. It's been a rough week. Let's talk about all of it and everything else. TGR News, broadcasting from the State of Israel. Welcome back to TGR News. Hello, hello. Well, thank you guys so much for all that you do. It is such an amazing thing. It is such a beautiful thing. And it is such an important part that you play in the lives of these people when you help them by giving them the food that they need. These people are in such dire shape. They are dependent on your support. It is such a beautiful thing that you do. And we are so thankful that you do it through us and allow us to be your hands here in the state of Israel through the support you give. Yeah. Praise God and, pr and bless God. Bless every one of Amen. you. Let's, like, you know, let's change the statistic. Exactly. Let's do it. Let's change the statistic of one of three ch children going to bed hungry. Let's change it. Let's help those precious people in need in Israel to get out of this Amen. situation. Well, if you haven't, you want to, there are links below all of our videos to the Support Us page and to the Patreon page. Or you could just type in thegoldenreport.com on your web browser and go to the Support Us page there and find whichever way is best for you. So thank you guys so much. It is such a blessing. We are, God, just really God bless you all. I can't explain how important you are to these people. It's just can't put them in words. Yeah. Well, before we get started, um, this week, by the way, when we passed out food, we passed out food for two weeks. We put the same amount we put for one week, but for two weeks, and we explained to all the people that it looks like within a few hours from now, maybe, uh, counting down the hours at least, uh, we are. I'll be going off back into the to the war, going back into the army. But just like last time, Ola took care of everything. Everything was done. The, all the ministry responsibilities were met. You were amazing. You put out the videos. You put out more than one video because it was at the beginning of the war. So there was a lot more to talk about. You put out a few videos every day. Excuse me. A few videos every week. Sometimes. Towards the end, it was back to one video a week. And you were still handing out the food to all the families, which we've grown since then. So it's even more work now. It's all with the help of God. Amen. So, and God makes it possible. People were volunteering to help yes, to pass yes, out the yes. food because we need she needed a truck, right? So we'll be continue. You'll do it again, I'm sure. And I'll probably be able to give you some updates here and there from the IDF. So keep a lookout for those. That'd be interesting. Yeah. What I can share with you guys. You'll take care of, of yourself and keep, you know, be safe and we'll be okay. Right. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know that next week I'll probably won't be here. It'll be just older. But that week has been passed out, and then hopefully maybe work something out. I'll be able to come back and, and help because uh, maybe I'll come back and forth. I, we, I don't know how it's going to look until I get started, what exactly. Yeah. Plus, I can't tell too much about what we're going to do. Yeah. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. We started this week off with a miracle of actually two miracles. Two cars that left Hebron rigged to blow with a lot of explosives we're headed into the center part of the country where there is a large number of people. One of the cars made it as far as a gas station where an IDF officer saw them and was able to stop them. And when the car blew, no one was hurt, which was the first miracle. The second miracle was when the second car made it past the checkpoint and when the security agents saw something suspicious and saw them a, and it kept going into a, a little car chase. Yeah. It ended with yet another car explosion and yet no injured again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Two huge miracles at the beginning. Of it. Yeah. And it's been happening more oh, yeah. and more. Oh, you yeah. see these, it's, last week we had a car explosion that also no one was hurt. We have had, <clears throat> the God's, God's great. 
Yeah. <laughs> God's yeah. great. He's been yeah. He's been our Iron Dome. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It's like I've said before, we have the Iron Dome. It was God sent, and God is still our Iron Dome. Yes, yes. There was also a car that was in the tr tr trying to explode next to the school buses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Three school buses passed. Passed it, and this one after it was the other. Another miracle. Yes, it was another miracle. The he car, could have blown when either one of those three school buses. Yeah. were full of kids. And this he didn't. car, this car didn't explode. Uh, IDF soldier noticed the car suspicious, and he went in, into the car and Amen. started start expect, um, inspecting it, and then eventually the IDF blew the car uh, like. They controlled, it was explosion controlled, and there was more than 50 kilograms of explosive attached to, do, to two balloon gases there. So if this car were exploded, not only the bus passing with children next to it, but all the area will be, it was, it was a miracle. Amen. So then, um, after the miracles that we're talking about of the beginning of the week, we received the information about the six hostages that were retrieving from Gaza. But unfortunately, they were brutally murdered just before the rescue. Even though they were brutally killed, only three days, about three days before the rescue, at least their bodies can give some closure to the families. I'm sure that all the Hamas terrorists have been coach, coached that if you are losing the fight or losing the hostages, yes. then just kill them that's all. That's so true. And that's actually the information we got also from this operation yeah. that um, apparently watchmen of Hamas saw the IDF come closer. They knew we're going to... Probably rescue these rescue, hostages. Yeah, and so they just killed them. And try to leave, and we kill the Hamas terrorists. Yeah, it's so horrible. Such so, a sad. What really was amazed me, I that was kind of expected. I I I didn't expect something better from Hamas savages, but what amazed me is that after this, what what happened with the hostages? What happened with Biden administration? <laughs> like he he's he's trying to. Praise, more, like give more prizes to Hamas and try to push Benjamin yeah, Netanyahu to, to give more consensus. It's, it's just spiritual how, how blinded and how wicked some decisions can be made in, in certain situations. Yes. You know, there are certain times and situations a country goes through that, that uh, causes the people to, to take a moment. In America, 9-11, obviously. And Israel, unfortunately, not like America and most other countries, we don't have one big one every 50 years, like America 9-11, right? We have many of them over and over and over because we're always being attacked just for being Jewish, killed just for being Jewish. And this week, these six hostages is one of those days. You could feel it everywhere. You, you even made a comment like a technician on the phone for the internet. You know, it, it usually it's just a very cold interaction because you never even meet, met each other. It's all on the phone. But you can't, you stop and you, and you sort of bond for a minute talking over these tragedies that just happened on, this, on the day of these six uh, hostages. Yes. You go out and you, and you have to go do something. You feel it in the traffic. The traffic, first of all, is driving. Usually, Israelis drive crazy and fast. But it's, it's all that day, everyone was driving slower. And there wasn't that many people on the road. There wasn't that much traffic. People were just staying yeah. home. And didn't have, And if you didn't need to go out, people just weren't going out. It's yeah. just one of those days. That was just, it was really felt yeah, well, here in Israel. There's something that's important to mention, that those six hostages... Were the famous hostages. It's like we already know their story. It's been 11 months... And we know each and every one of them and their stories. I, myself, saw one of them kidnapped because I saw all the videos yeah, of the same 7th of October. So it's like, it's like we live in this, their life, we live in their story. And when this happened, it was devastating. And I remember myself, just this, this day was so, so, you know, horrible, horrible day. And I felt I saw I thought maybe it's just me, but I I saw it all around Israel, like like you said, the technician of the internet. 
out of the blue was talking about the, my internet problems and then he just started yeah. saying I cannot concentrate I, I don't know what I'm doing here <laughs> you know, I'm, walk, I'm supposed to work but I can't with this horrible news and, yeah. Yeah. yeah it was a rough day it was a rough day for the nation yeah. well I hope I'm really happy for these families to get closure, closure yeah. because we know unfortunately that some of the families will never have their closure probably That's with, true. with the information that we have that we know some of the hostages never well, probably never was kidnapped. Yeah. Like in the first So time. yeah, that's so true. The, there are families who won't have it, even that. That's yes, true. Yes. Well, once again, close to Hebron, meaning most likely the terrorist was from Hebron. A terrorist using a drive-by tactic drove by IDF soldiers and opened fire. The attack ended with three injured and all three died later from their wounds. The terrorist was caught later in another Arab village trying to hide out there. You know, this, um, the Judea and Samaria area is getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Yes. Yeah, you know, but we're working. The IDF is working overtime. Yeah. Which is, which is the way it is when you, when they're going in and trying to, uh, clear it out, it, it, rises up the, the the revolt against right so it's it's it, it's a good it's not a good thing but it shows the that we are making progress yes yeah. one of the these people who israelis who were killed in this uh, murder in this horrible attack yes he lost his daughter on the 7th of october mm -hmm. yeah she was a police officer and she died in the road in the police um, station where yeah. it was attacked yeah so, yeah. Well, on Monday night, Prime Minister Netanyahu addressed the nation. It was unusual, this address of the nation, in that he gave a long speech to show the nation why we need to stand together. Unfortunately, after the six hostages that we talked about and all that what happened, when the bodies came back, the left wing started their large protests again. So Netanyahu tried to show how this is exactly what the enemy wants. He also said that we will not leave the Philadelphia road, the border road between Gaza and uh, in Egypt, and showed an actual note from Hamas leaders. This is true. This is a, we know this to be true. Uh, that shows their tactics using politics. We need to all pray for the unity of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. This is something that Israel needs the most. We need to get back to unity and, and, and be as one, especially during this time of war. The, uh, the note that they found talked very clearly, the Hamas leaders giving out orders about how to cause the uh, uh, pressure, political pressure by putting out videos saying certain things to keep the left Keep the left wing attacking the politics, attacking Bibi, because it weakens the country from the inside. These are actual tactics, and yes. the left wing's yes. playing right into it. You yes. have it. How you saying in Hebrew? Black on, on white. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Writing's some, on the wall. Yes, yes. Some of them is like, uh, blame Bibi for everything. Make them believe that Bibi is the one who, to blame for everything. Yeah. Or make them believe... That uh, if they go on the streets, it will uh, put pressure on the government, so they stop, from, so they withdraw from Philadelphia. Or so. You know things like this, and still the left don't see that they've been used. Right, just been used. They don't see it. They're just spiritually blinded. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the north of the oh, country. My, yeah. In the north, the situation is pretty much the same. Tick for tack with Hezbollah became a reality. And the routine of more than 100,000 people that can't go back to their home in the north. In the month of August, more than uh, 1,300 rockets were fired into Israel from Lebanon. Again, I don't understand what Israel is waiting for. To go in, yeah. Before we said, like some of officials said, that we cannot fight on two fronts, which we know is not true anyway. But well, I don't know, that's what the excuse. So now Gaza... There's not really a, like a war, full-blown war there. We have these operations that we do. So yeah. most of our, you know, we can we can fight in the north. And north. yeah, and we've been fighting two two fronts because the Judea and Samaria area is a oh, front. Oh yeah, we're fighting and, seven fronts. Yeah, and, and <laughs> Israel has fought m multiple front wars many times, but. That's not the point. Yeah, the, the, like you said, it's insane. We are 335 days into this war, 30 days away from being a full year. Next month will be a year in this war. A year in this war. That's insane. That's a year 
People have been displaced from their home, hundred over 100,000 people, because we don't go in and finish the job. Name one country, one state that will accept the same situation that hundred rockets or thousands of rockets being fired to civilian place, to civilian population. Daily, for a daily, year. Daily, UAV attacks, and, and still nothing changed. People evacuated, people can't go back to their homes. Businesses shut down, businesses. Today, today, big factory, Priya Galil, yeah. was closed. Out of business. Yeah. It's the, the, one of the biggest ones, I think, for What Galil. do they make? Can, can uh, corn, can, 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 can food. Yes, peas. Yeah. Well, well, that's crazy. 335 days at war and still in the north in the same exact situation since the 7th of October. Yes. Yeah. Well, as you said, pray for unity. Unity. We need pray. unity. Yeah. Also pray for our government to make them, I don't know, understand a few things. To, to, to open their eyes. Open their eyes and let to them God's plan. be bold and, and, and to do what needs to be done. Amen. We got anything else you want to add? No, that's all. Well, like I said, next week I probably won't be here. I'll be in the IDF going off to back to war. So I'll give you updates when I can, how I can. Just like the first four months while I was at war. There's times where I didn't wasn't able to put something out, but there's then there's times that I can. Let's hope it's not gonna be two four months. Oh, I don't <laughs> think it'll be four months. I don't think this war is gonna last four more months. But anyway, that's that's a whole nother animal. Maybe we'll talk about that in a video while I'm in the army. Yeah, well, guys, if you want to ask something, if you want to tell something, please leave comment. We yeah. want to hear what you have to say. We answer every comment. I'm, I'm pre uh, I hope you know, so. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I don't think I missed the comments. Yes, I, I hope I don't. So, please. Okay. Well, don't forget to join us on thegoldenreport.com. And until next time. Shabbat shalom. God bless.